color. What I have in my hand is a simchi mushroom. The simchi mushrooms are the special mushroom. They are very small mushroom and they are growing um, very much in Australia and in Queensland. Uh, we have a tropical climate so they are you know really doing very well in growing that one. So I can show you, you know, taking this out and show you how that uh, this basically the base of this one. So then, you know, when you take that uh, uh, the mushroom that we take only that uh, we are going to cook like a stir fry type um, today. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, basically to uh, take this one uh, and uh, if I can hold it like that or maybe I can put it back here and uh, we need to remove this uh, base so one way of uh, removing that base is to uh, cut this uh, we don't want to lose a lot of mushroom in it So you can see that you know we have nicely removed that uh, uh, there was a little bit of waste but next time you know when you cut it uh, you know you uh, use that one so we make sure that uh, we are not uh, taking that uh, base away and uh, um, so I'm cutting this one we cooked this one several times this one came out very well so not much of a base there so then we also do that and we don't want to cook it with the base and uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take it, this one and we'll wash them. See, come with the stem and uh, be nicely. Will be a very very mushroom. So that's uh, that's the way you see. It. See how that we are going to uh, stir fry this one today. That the mushroom that we have, uh, that the mushroom that we are clean and also we are ready to cook. These are the basic ingredient that we are going to use it. The onion and the ginger and garlic and fennel seeds and the mustard seeds so all look very great and we will be making a stir fry of this uh, uh, gimchi uh, mushroom okay we are going to stir fry the mushroom now what we are going to do is you know we put a little bit of oil and um, then uh, on the oil we are going to temper the mushroom and uh, so we will add some salt and at this stage you know, we will add a one teaspoon of salt Adding the rock salt, so looking beautiful. So now what we are going to do is um, we, we will let them be cooked for a little while because the mushroom. 
and it's always uh, let it cook for some time. Uh, one way of uh, making sure the mushroom is cooked is mushroom has a reasonably good water content. So when you start cooking, mushroom release the water and when the water evaporates away, then that's the indication of the mushroom is also being cooked at that time. We are going to add the fennel seed. You can see that the water is evaporated away. And also we are going to mix that one. While we are mixing that one, we will be adding that uh, garlic and onion and chili. And also we are adding the curry leaf. So let's go. The mushroom also has an oil, so it will release the oil when the water is evaporated. Now we are adding a little bit of so, um, chili powder there and once you add the chili powder we will mix them so you can see that how the stinky mushroom stir fry is coming along. Stir fry has been completed now and that's looking very great. That's a cinchy mushroom stir fry. Very basic stir fry and uh, with onion and chilies and, uh, and uh, garnish with the uh, uh, with the vinegar and the soy sauce. Looking great. That's a beautiful cinchy mushroom that we have uh, cooked and looking very great and very nice, very simple, very basic stir-fry, simsi mushroom stir-fry. Stir and uh, thank you very much for watching this fantastic uh, mushroom uh, dish. I appreciate your subscription to our YouTube channel and also we appreciate your watching of other videos so that we can increase our viewing hours. Thank you very much.